Decision 2023 will feature the Erie County Executive's race, and today the incumbent Mark Polencars announced that he is running to keep the job. Now, he didn't do interviews today, but he did put out a campaign video. He touted the lowest tax rate in county history, a growing population, and investments in infrastructure, public safety, and jobs. There's still more to do. So I'm running for another term as county executive. My prosperity plan will invest in more cops and community policing initiatives. It will build roads and bridges and critical infrastructure, attract even more jobs to our area, upgrade snow removal and emergency response services, and cut property tax rates even further. Now, Poland Cars has at least one announced opponent, Nate McMurray. He has requested an interview with the Erie County Democratic Committee trying to get the endorsement. Well, today the county chairman said that McMurray will get that opportunity. We meet as an executive committee of 100 people to do uh, countywide endorsements and interviews, and we'll do that on Tuesday, and Mr. McMurray is more than welcome to attend. Um, he's already made up his mind that he's not getting the endorsement, um, but that's up to him to, to figure out. All right, so you got those two candidates. Recently, I also got the chance to ask another potential candidate, Erie County Clerk Mickey Kearns, if he's going to jump in. Are you running for county executive? I haven't decided that. I'm the Erie County Clerk, so no, I haven't decided that yet. So, you know, all I'm looking to do is to be a good clerk, to be a good elected official, uh, to do the best possible uh, job that I can for the people of Erie County. The primary is June 27th, and then Erie County residents will vote on the next county executive during the general election on November 7th.